Automation of Iterative Workflows. Meet Rob. He works as an application developer for a food and drink e-commerce company. His goal is to create the applications and related scheduling objects, like jobs and job streams, that automate the various business processes. Sometimes the workflow can be very complex. The company wants to improve the efficiency of processing and delivery of online orders. Rob is working on the automation of the batch order process. Currently, the workflow is mapped to a sequence of three job streams. The first job stream runs some pre-processing activities daily. The second job stream runs every 10 minutes to process the orders. The third job stream runs analytics when all the orders have been processed. Rob is struggling to resolve the iteration of the order processing sequence of jobs inside the overall workflow. It is very complex to manage the dependencies and the synchronization between the three job streams. Rob heard about a new workload scheduler feature, implementing iterative processing of a sequence of jobs within a job stream, while a condition is met. It's like a do-while statement in programming languages. What better time to try it? It is just a matter of adding a new type of job to the job stream, the job management job. It is a job that runs an action on a selected job in the job stream. Through this job, Rob requests that query DB orders, reruns, along with all its successor jobs. Rob adds the job to the job stream, at the end of the sequence that he wants to iterate. The iteration is controlled by the output conditions of the first job of the sequence, it stops when there are no more orders to be processed. Then, the job stream execution continues with the other branch job that runs analytics and reporting. In this way, Rob achieves a great result. He gains control over the orchestration of the entire workflow, with just one single job stream. After a few months, online sales have increased. The company wants to move from single item to multi-item orders. The change in the transactional workflow causes a change in the batch order processing workflow. A portion of the workflow needs to iterate for each item in the order. But this time Rob knows how easy it is to reflect this change in the job stream. He just adds a second job management job at the end of the item processing sequence. And sets the output conditions to control the iteration. It stops when there are no more items to be processed in the order. Then, the job stream execution continues with the rest of the order processing steps. And that's it. Developing and automating applications has never been easier, since Workload Scheduler enables full orchestration of even complex and iterative workflows, complete governance of your processes, flexibility and adaptability to your growing business.